anyone have any explanation for what she's doing? She's like kind of toothing all of them and I don't know if it's like a mothering thing or if I really don't know if she's tr trying to teach them to not get up on the sides of this to get out or if she's teaching them how to wrestle or if she's just being aggressive I really can't tell I mean she's really gentle she's not hurting anyone but it's still very nerve-wracking no surprises she's doing the avoidant nursing thing right now because these guys got teeth you see it? Sorry, Horace. Hold on. Hold on. Can I see your teeth, Phoenix? I'm trying to get you a good look. There we go. Hang on. Look at those teeth coming in. They're four weeks old today. And they've got some teeth. they got some teeth. It's a good thing they switched to puppy mush twice a day already. She's trying to teach them stuff, but she doesn't want them to touch her on the belly. Hey, what you doing, Tilly? I'm trying not to interfere because I think she really is trying to break up their fights and stuff. But I also. Hey, Tilly. I am not a dog, so I don't know what's too much. Hi, Horace. You got a little bit of a mess on your mouth. You like that? You like that mush? You like that mush? Since the puppy's nails are freshly clipped and the floor is freshly cleaned in this area, I am going to give them a chance to experience hard floors as their new experience of the day today. Because they've just been living in this little box with towels and we've taken them a couple places in the house and in the yard, but I'm going to give them the hard floor experience today. <laughs> okay, you can come out. You can come out now. Come here. They're not sure what to do. I'm gonna give them the chance. To, I know they can get out of the box. So I'm gonna give them the chance to try to work on some strength and resilience problem solving. You guys got it! You got it! Come here! Peppy, I know you got it. Yeah, look at that! He's like, now that he's feeling the floor, he's like, ah! Wanna step on that? Let's give them a, a little help out. Come here. Come on, Peppy. Peppy, what do you think? What do you think of that floor? Kind of slippery, huh? Yeah, really slippery. Whoa. What do you think? Oh, is it just too slippery? It's okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I want all of them to experience it. But the first two seem very stressed by it. <laughs> Slippery, huh?
That's your brother's tail. Hmm. Cleo's got it. She's got the ginger walking. Phoenix is not loving having her feet slide out behind her. But new experiences are good for you. New experiences are going to make you good pets, huh? Good puppies. See, they come right out of the box on their own when the floor beneath isn't so scary, huh? Yeah, when it's stuff they recognize, they'll come out of the box, huh? Yeah! He's like, my feet know what to do with this. Good job. There we go. So it's time for a four week old deworming. We already did it at two weeks. We're actually a little past four weeks old, but we're doing our best. And this, by the way, I ended up buying a, an over the door laundry basket because we have just so many dirty towels coming out of here. And also hung up this fly paper, fly ribbon, because a lot of flies in here so we're kind of adjusting as we go to what it takes to keep things livable in here <laughs> so we're gonna weigh in the puppies so we know the dosage and go from there look how much bigger they are on the scale Ooh, than they used to be gotta keep all your legs up there gotta keep all your legs up there Ooh. Six pounds. The last time we did this, he was two pounds. It's a lot of growth in one week. I'm sorry, two weeks. It's a lot of growth in two weeks. All right, so here's Mr. Nile. All of these puppies weigh very close to the same weight, which is around five pounds, five and a half pounds. And this worming stuff is, um, is supposed to be five milliliters per 10 pounds. So we're gonna go with what that would be approximately rather than trying to measure it out down to the milli milliliter per puppy's weight. So here we go. Hi. Oh, I've got to wait till I got something in here. Hold on. Mm. And by the way, if you tip this the wrong way, all that liquid goes into the into the squeezer part. So you got to be careful. <laughs> Want some of this? Here we go. Here we go, buddy. Most of them seem. Pretty willing to take it once they taste it. It must not taste too bad. There she is. There she is. There's our beauty. Huh. Let's go for some stuff. Hang on. Gotta get some chew toys in the mix, huh? Now you got some teeth coming in. You got some teeth you need to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, I just witnessed the first Oh, you see that? The first escape I've been in here for. I need to move this blanket, but that guy just moved the, used the blanket to hoist himself up out of the pen. Yikes! Good thing I was here to see it, huh? Good thing I was here to see it. Let's gonna see if the other ones follow suit. We actually need to now change out their um their pen situation make the sides taller and also the whole thing bigger 
so you have more room to play and run. Like I said, they're starting to chew. Starting to chew, huh? Okay, so I've been wondering how to transition from mush into anything else. This is our first attempt, hopefully this is still warm enough, at incorporating something a little bit chunkier. But I've made the water a lot warmer and, or water slash, it's still cut with the formula. Um, and we're gonna let it soak a little bit longer. So before we give it to them. So we're gonna, we're gonna let the uh, big chunks get kind of soggy like cereal before we give it to them and see how it goes. They're definitely getting hungrier. I think we're gonna start adding a third meal of the day. All the chunks float to the top. So we're gonna soak them until until they don't oh make such goodness. a loud <laughs> What's up, buddy? This is taking longer than I thought. Now it's been six minutes. And it, I'm afraid it's getting cold, so I put a heating pad under it, which I would do in their pen, but now they have started chewing on the cords. Okay, and we'll see how they do with this chunkier mush. Puppy, 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 puppy. Tilly came in here right at the same time. Hey, get out of here. You're distracting the locals. Puppy, 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 puppy. You want to try it out? I'm going to have to supervise this one really closely because obviously it's their first time with bigger stuff. But now they have teeth, so hopefully they'll enjoy the challenge. And it's very soft now. All the moisture kind of got out of it because it, the big pieces don't incorporate it as much as the little pieces. So I'm just mixing in some more moisture. Hopefully that will be good. Oh, <coughs> chaos. I think this is actually the week they can start having water. And so it's probably okay to have um, have a little bit of it not mixed in because they seem to appreciate it anyway. Never mind. I want to you. They still make quite a mess. Don't worry, puppy. I can see that's Peppy. I Peppy. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Ah, oh, that's silly. Oh God. So the next step is to give the puppies a new area to live in, and every time we move this couch, even though we've moved it like every couple weeks, it's insane how much stuff is under it. But anyway, we are trying to give them a new space that has um, a separate area for sleeping and an area for going potty and a little bit more space for them to run around and exercise now that they're getting so much bigger. And we chose to put them next to our back door in the hopes that as they kind of learn to potty train on one side of the kennel, that that's also the side closest to the door. We also got them um, a little kennel of their own to do some crate training. So we'll have it open in their area and they will be able to get comfortable sleeping in it and spending time in there so that slowly we'll start closing the door now and then. And then by the time they go to live with someone else, they're crate trained. So, and we did have to break down Tilly's crate and put it somewhere else to make this work. So we're using the same whelping box, but really it's a garden box set that we were using in the other room, but now we're making it taller because they're getting a little bigger. And I don't know, I think maybe our carpet's just thick. I don't know, for whatever reason, the double stacking of this did not work very well. But we had some good helpers and the puppies were pretty anxious to see what the deal was. And boom, and dang it, dang it. <laughs> Turns out some stuff you just have to <laughs> Put in the work. 
like I said, we had to support the double stack of those garden boxes because they oh, just look. did not. Here, Tilly, Tilly. Work. Here. 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 Go on in. Woo. Beautiful. Come on out. Come on out. Yeah, you can do it, huh? Just probably not carefully. For right now, we have to just not finish the second half of the box. So we have too many things to solve. But of course, they're going to go over there instantly. <laughs> we didn't get to open up our spot with the grass yet, but we will do that. And then we'll start training them how to go to the bathroom in a separate place. And hopefully make all of our lives easier. Maybe Tilly will start nursing more because she likes that bed a lot that we got for the crate. We have to get her one for her crate too. Slash possibly downsize her crate to this size because she really likes it in there. Maybe her crate's always been too big. I think I'm gonna leave it closed off like this for a couple of days because we want them to get used to the kennel as a place to sleep rather than opening up the whole thing and adding a kennel I'm gonna give them a couple of days to start moving into the kennel as a sleeping spot and then I'll open it up to their little grassy area. Maybe I'll put grass in here and then slowly, oh, I can't do it that slowly. It's only one thing to remove, but open it up so that they get used to a sleeping area that's separate and they can start to potty train, which is an instinctual thing that dogs do, is not go to the bathroom where they sleep. Cleo, it's okay, it's okay. Well, I decided to open up the gate and now they're trying out their inner border collie and jumping that little divider. They also have a lot more room to play which I think is nice for them.